Hey guys, up in the uh, Sacramento mountains today, on the other side of Cloud Cross from where we normally go, uh, out here as a family, having some family time here. Um, one of the, not old, but one of the campgrounds that is closed for the season, you can still park and kind of come down where it's got a little fire going. They're down in the canyon where the campground is. I got a chance to throw my kit on, come up and do a loop up here. And get to make a video on today's topic subject which is this new chest rig I have um, so yeah so that's why we're out one of the last times I'll be able to come up here I think we'll get one more trip out here um, before we leave the southwest and head back east so and as you can tell I am wearing uh, the disgusting OCP but the dudes over at true spec sent me a pair of their direct yeah uh, their new direct action pants their version of a combat pant uh, to try out and use and and kind of go over uh, so I'm bringing I brought, so I brought them out here with me today um, got the Arctis I guess Arctis French mountain camo which I really haven't gotten to wear a lot it goes really well with the bark um, but yeah today's video is over the velocity system UW UW uh, chest rig Gen 4. So that's what today's video is over. But before we get into that, sponsors of today's video are Brownells, Nautilus Ammunitions, Good Camo, and others. Thank you to all of them for sponsoring, affiliating themselves with the channel, donating gear, camo, ammo, etc. Um, to help keep the page and the channel going. Thank you to them. Uh, thank you to Swap Fox for sending me out their Saber Prism. Still tr trying it out, throwing it around. It's holding zero good, loving it. Um, and thank you to the guys over at TrueSpec for sending me a pair of their new DA direct action pants. Um, getting to take them out and use them. Even though they're an OCP, which is not my favorite pattern, uh, getting to try them out, try something new. So thank you to all of them. All right. All right, so quick caveat before I get into the video going over the chest rig and whatnot. Um, I, I, I can, you can see it's kind of, I have it slung low. I don't have the back strap on. I didn't know how much snow was going to be out here. So I adjusted it for as loose as it could be. You know my RRV, it's kind of, it maybe is a little higher than this, but I kind of like it to ride low because I'm not necessarily wearing a belt. Might end up doing a belt with this, I don't know. But, you know, where it needs to be square right up on top of your chest, right, right across the, the pecs, the chest region. As opposed to, I kind of like it. I like my rigs a little lower, not a belt kit, but kind of, I just like my shit lower. So it's loose, it's loosened. I don't have the back strap done up, like I said, because I didn't know what layering I was going to wear. It is pretty warm up here today. This fleece is about all I need. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to make that caveat, just kind of how, why it's slung low. You know, it's hanging low on me. So, all right, let's go. All right, so. Let's go over the Velocity Systems UW Gen 4 chest rig. All right. Um, just before I go into the pouches, uh, OCP pattern, um, well-made construction, made in the U.S. Um, from my understanding, tags and such. <laughs> um, good construction. You've got two general purpose pouches on either side of the rig itself. You've got two smaller... I guess you could say they're GP pouches. There's two large, two large GP pouches, two small GP pouches. And then you have these four, I say slip pouches. They're designed for pistol magazines. I don't think they'd fit anything bigger than a nine millimeter pistol, like a Glock or a Beretta. So you've got four of those. And then you have four magazine sleeves, inserts, with elastic retention. And then you have an administrative pouch in there. So, four magazine, you can have four rifle, four pistol, um, depending on if you're running the pistol, right? Um, these two large GP pouches, I have this side one set up as the IFAC with um, the 11 uh, an 1110 uh, IFAC insert the items from a, the items from an 1110 IFAC insert in here. So this is acting as the IFAC. This side magazine pouch, you could fit two um, glow sticks. I have one. Um, 
I took a lot of the stuff from my RV and put on this just to see what would fit and how it would hold and how it would carry. Um, so I'll get a, maybe another glow stick on that side. Uh, the other GP pouch on the other side, it is big enough. This is just one of the smaller water bottle <laughs> water bottles that my my boys have. Um, so I, it will fit a 16, right? 16 ounce Nalgene. So I would put a 16 ounce 16 ounce wide mouth Nalgene in here because you could also use a life straw potentially with it, or it makes it easier to use filter um, nozzles and whatnot for it, right? Uh, these two other GP pouches in the front, I have this one with range cards, um, range cards, headlamp, and the mini VS17 panel tucked in there. Headlamp for, you know, the, the f most, most readily available around the top. Um, then in this one, I have spare batteries for the headlamp and I think it's another battery for a flashlight I have, but they're all together in this little tube. So I have that there. Then I have um, lighter and the Sunto pocket compass in here, right here in this. I may have got to take this out first. And then right there, Sunto pocket compass. So that's right there. Then in this one, I have a Cat7 tourniquet and Ear Pro Cat7 tourniquet. I can obviously grab and rip pull out of the pouch. If I lose the Ear Pro, that's fine because if I'm using the tourniquet in an emergency situation, in an emergency situation, I'm not really worried about losing the, the little um, silicone earbuds. It's not that big of a deal for me. Um, and then on this side one, it just has one thing of um, water, purifi water purification tablets. You could probably fit more. Um, up, well, obviously, you could fit more. But that's what I put there with the water bottle. So I'd probably put, maybe if I actually put the lighter and um, water purification tablets in there. And then here in the admin pouch, I just have my small little pocket admin pocket admin pouch inside the admin pouch with uh, writing implements. Um, another set of, is that your pro? Uh, ferro rod, notepad, and another compass. So I have that right there in the admin pouch. So that's, it's really basic, it's really simple, it's light, it's, it's, would I call it a micro rig? I guess, I guess it is a micro rig, but four mags is better than three. In my opinion, you can also carry four pistol mags. Um, you don't have to Velcro add on extra pouches for more medical. Uh, so, yeah, I wouldn't say it's a micro chest rig. I would say it's a small chest rig, um, a small standalone. The, the strap adjustments are nice. Uh, it gets pretty big. I didn't know, like I said earlier, I didn't know what um, I didn't know what top layer I was wearing, so I loosened them as much as I could. Um, and I generally don't like putting the back strap on a chest rig. Just that's just my personal preference, just to be able to don and doff it pretty quickly. I mean, unless. Like, I'll do that unless, right, I'm, I've got a ruck and other kit on, then I'll strap it on so maybe it doesn't bounce around. Or if I have to drop the ruck quickly, I have, I have my chest rig strapped to my body. It's just my personal preference. Um, so, yeah. So, there you go. That is the Velocity Systems UW Gen 4 chest rig in OCP. Just a quick overview. I can't wait to kind of get it out and test it more and more. It's first time taking it out. First impressions, kind of like it. Not too hot about <laughs> OCP, but I can, dig, I can dig it. So, all right. Thank you guys for watching. Y'all have a good new year.